everybody how everybody doing so far okay okie dokie so moving to the nasal labial and the cheekbones okay i want you to feel the cheekbone where is the cheekbone okay feel the zygomaticus arch, the bone itself, okay? So on the bone, right where the bone ends here, and it kind of like joins almost into your ear, like where the hair ends, this is where they're gonna be anchor of the tape. So if you have five centimeters tape, two inches tape, okay? We're gonna use it for both sides, okay? You're gonna measure from here, to the smile, find nasal labial fold, okay? Then relax. And on relaxed face, you need from wherever your hair ends on the zygomaticus bone, zygomaticus arch bone, to where your nasal labial fold is. So this is gonna be looking like this, okay? So for me, I already know mine is approximately seven centimeters, so seven boxes, okay? It can be, Five, it can be eight for you. It depends. It's on average seven for everybody. Again, it depends how far your hair grow. You don't want to tape your hair, okay? Measure, find the bone, feel the bone, measure where the bone is going into the hair and then to your nasal labial fold, okay? Like this. And so I'm going to cut my seven boxes. Okay, and I'm gonna use it actually, like this is the slide, right? Okay, I'm gonna actually use it for the both sides. So this one, I'm gonna first cut in a half. So I got two pieces like this. Okay, two pieces. Okay, now each piece, each piece, when I flip, I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna leave two centimeters and then from like two boxes and then the rest I'm gonna cut in a half. So this is called, called Y application. Okay, so this looks like this. You see, two centimeters left, this is your anchor. And then this is your <clears throat> Y pieces. Okay, and I'm gonna do symmetrical to both of them. Okay, you got it? Okay, two pieces. Okay, so again, remember, this is the general rule. Every time you're taping anything, you wanna look at your face, you wanna see where the anchor is gonna be, and then you wanna pull, and I'm gonna look at my nasal labial fold, and I wanna make sure it relaxes. So I'm looking at my nasal labial fold and you see how it disappears when I pull? And all of this lifts and you pull. Okay, and play with direction, okay? So like this is too high, this is too low, like which direction you need. Everybody has different face, okay? Play, where do you need to pull? It's usually a little bit, toward the tip of your ear. The direction is usually to the um, center or to the um, tip or back of your ear. So look, where do you look the best? Where do you like it to go? Like imagine if you're doing plastic surgery and you're like, okay, I want it to go this way. Okay, so once you find, but it has to be on the bone. So you're gonna apply the anchor on the zygomaticus arch. So once you figure out where is it now, don't pull anything, tear off the paper part from the anchor, from the anchor. So white pieces are still have their paper, okay? Then this red part, okay guys, I'm gonna turn off my background because it's irritating me, how it's disappearing. Okay, I have a gray wall behind me. Okay, so um, the paper is off and the white part still has the paper, right? 
So now where your finger were, this is where you're gonna put the anchor without any stretch, without nothing. You're just gonna stick it there, okay? And just leave it be. When you stick it there, it's on the zygomaticus arch right at your hairline. Make sure you're not taping your hair. Now, first I'm gonna apply my top part. So I want my tape to finish right in this crease, okay? And so now divide this crease in like three parts. One, two, three. So the top one, you wanna finish in like middle, I'm sorry, top third, okay? Now relax your face, remove one part of the tape. The other still has the paper. The other I'm not touching yet. Okay, and I'm gonna grab it. And then with this finger, with my left finger, I'm gonna pull the way I was pulling. And then I'm gonna put the tape toward the top third of my wrinkle. Okay, and let go. And now pull, apply it this way, okay? So you see how it's kind of like pulled this part? Okay, now I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna remove paper from the bottom part of my white. Okay, again, I'm gonna now look at the corner of my mouse. So this piece of tape is gonna go a little bit toward the corner, maybe a little bit below the corner of my mouse. Again, I'm applying my finger on the anchor and pulling it the way it makes the line, the nasal labial wrinkle, the nasal labial fold disappear. And then pulling the tape toward the corner of my mouse. Okay, find it again. You see it's here. Now relax, pull it back. This is where you want the tape to end. Okay, double check, let it go. Pull it again, let it go. Make sure no new wrinkles are created when you're happy. And it's like check that it's on the corner of your mouse. And then when you're happy with the application, then stretch and relax the muscles toward the ankle, toward your temporal area. Okay. Okay, we're ready for the next side. We're gonna do the same thing. Find the zygomaticus arch, find the bone itself, okay? Feel it, feel it, feel it. Where is it finishing? Where, like by your hairline? Okay, fine here. Now stretch, stretch the way you like it to go. Okay, this is too high, right? Because this is kind of creates the eye issue. Okay, so I wanted to go toward the top, part to top back part of my ear okay when i know where is this location i'm gonna tear away the anchor part okay the one that is not cut okay the two centimeters two boxes two by two okay where is my bone here is my bone i'm gonna remove my hair here make sure i'm not sticking to the hair and apply on the bone make sure it's on the bone Okay, and I'm gonna remove from the top part off my Y. So the bottom part still has the paper. It's not in my way. Okay, pull the way you like it, okay? Check the top, top third of your wrinkle, okay? And I'm gonna go toward top third Okay, double check. Good, I like it. I'm now gonna activate the glue and apply it. Okay, remove the paper backing from the bottom Y. Okay, where is my corner of my lip? Okay, stretch it toward the corner of the lip. Double checking where is my wrinkle. Okay, activate the glue. Okay. 
Okay, the same type, so this is Y application, okay? It's usually used for muscle relaxation, but also for lymphatic drainage. And like here around the temporal area, you remember we have large lymphatic zone, like it's a lot of lymph nodes here. So it's actually gonna improve the circulation and decrease the swelling of the face. Okay, the last one that we're gonna do today and this is, this is like, I can teach you more, but this is what you can do in one night, okay? There is different application for perky lips, but for example, you can't combine them with the nasal label one, okay? So then now we're gonna do the same type Y application, but this time you're gonna find the angle of your mandible, the angle of your lower jaw, and you're gonna measure, okay? Smile, okay? Like and find where is the um, where is the uh, the muscle that lowers the corner of your mouth is okay. Do this lower the corner of your mouth, and you will see there is attachment of the muscles right here. So this is where you want to measure it to. Okay, from the angle of your bone of your jaw to attachment of the muscle that lowers the corner of the mouse. Okay, so from here to here, and I know for me it's eight. Okay, so I'm gonna cut eight boxes. Okay, double check right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna cut it in a half. And then each half, each half, I'm gonna leave the anchor, which is gonna be two boxes. And then the rest of it, I'm gonna cut also in Y position. So I'm getting, I'm now getting Y. Two is for the anchor and then six more for the Ys. Again, the same thing. Okay, so I have two of little penny holes. Okay, little pants. Y application. Okay, same principle. Okay. Find the bone of the lower jaw. Feel the bone. So Y is going to go at the angle, at the masseter muscle. You remember this big muscle that using for TMJ for chewing, okay? We all were massaging this muscle. So find this muscle. The anchor will go around the corner of the jaw, mostly on the top, a little bit wrapping underneath, okay? And then the application is gonna go along the jawline up and down like this. Okay, so look at your jawline, okay, and kind of like see, okay, like I don't, you know, I want it, I want it a little bit back, right? I want it this way. Okay, so find how you're gonna pull it, okay? Free the anchor from the paper. Apply the anchor with no pressure, with no stretching, nothing, okay? Let it stick. I also always started from the top. It's easier for me. You can start from the bottom. It doesn't matter. So I'm freeing the top one first. I'm stretching my skin. And remember where we measure right here. So you want to apply it parallel to the jawline. And then you want to apply it underneath the jawline. So the jaw, the bone itself does not have tape. Tape kind of like wraps around the jawline. Okay, stretch, pull, stretch the skin. Do not stretch the tape. Stretch the skin. Stretch the skin, pull the skin. Mm. Okay, pull where you want it to pull. And then apply the tape with little to no stretch, 10 to 20% stretch, okay? And activate the glue. 
Okay. Okay, and then the other side, same thing. Find the masseter, pull up. Okay, a little bit this way. Good, free the tape. Apply anchor without any stretching, without any pulling. Okay, find the jawline, pull it back the way you were just kind of like a um testing it okay remove the tape right above the jawline activate right below the jawline and activate okay so this is application that you slip sleep with and you know if like tomorrow your day off you can actually leave it for like 48 hours if you're not going anywhere okay um i want to show you one more application which is you cannot sleep in this. So like I usually, I don't do it in the evening, but this is lymphatic drainage. So all of this like bigger pieces, they are designed to relax your muscles. Okay, and look, you know, when I'm, when I'm speaking, when I'm actually doing facial expressions now, okay, like I can't even wrinkle my forehead. Look, if I'm wrinkling it, you see how the skin is lifting off. And so that's improved circulation. This lifting of the skin allows for the better circulation. So this is actually also preventing you mimicking um, wrinkles. Okay. I do not recommend you to do any eyes until you're very familiar with the face. When you know how to take it off, that's why I don't want to show any eye application because you need to get used to the tape and know your face and know how to activate the glue and especially how to remove face, how to remove tape from the face. And so I don't want you to damage any under eye area. The same thing with the neck. I'm gonna show you on my neck. I do not want you to do this application now. I want you to just to see and understand the principle. So we call it spider application and it's usually we remember when we learn face fitness and we learn about dry brushing and we learn about the self-massage and how the flow of the lymph go and remember when we're learning face fitness i show you okay on the neck like lymph goes this way and then it goes this way so you need to know this lymphatic flow and you want to apply anchor on the lymph node and then multiple spider applications on the way that lymphatic flow goes. So on the neck, okay, and again, this is application you can maybe do up to six hours. It needs to be taken off. Do not leave it overnight. So this is for my neck. Like if I want to improve the skin tone and then especially if I have any swelling, it, this is perfect application. So lymph node is supraclavicular lymph node is here in this area. So this is when I'm going to apply my application. And then it actually drains lymphatic all the way, like from the ear all the way here. So all across the neck. So this is, I'm going to measure all the way to the ear. Okay. And for me, I already know it's 15. Okay. Uh, I do like my angles soften on my lymph nodes. I don't know, this is just to me aesthetic. You don't need to do it. You need to round everything that stays for a long time to prevent sloughing off. And so this one, I'm actually gonna cut in half. And then each piece the tinier the lines you can make, the more effective it's gonna be. So if you can manage to cut this in six or five or four, 
Okay, for the sake of the time, I'm just gonna cut it in four right now. But again, the smaller the line, the better. And I'm leaving two or three centimeters for the anchor. Again, I am a little bit OCD. I would normally cut it in like six, but for the, si for the sake of the time today, I'm only gonna cut it in four. The thinner this line are, the more effective the um, draining effect. So then I'm gonna cut the anchor and the anchor is gonna go on the lymph nodes. This application is always without any type of stretch. So this is gonna go, okay, let me do this side. This is gonna go on my lymph node. Okay, and then I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna apply outside first and then inside. So I'm gonna free one and I'm gonna go without any pressure, but I'm gonna stretch my neck. I'm gonna go all the way here, okay? Tiny, thin line. Okay, the next one I'm gonna apply outside. And this is gonna go here. So look, I'm actually gonna measure and I'm gonna cut it right here. So this is gonna go to the corner of the jaw. Okay, and then the other two, I have to kind of like, okay, maybe a little bit wider. Okay, and then this two is just gonna go in between. Okay, and all the way behind the ear, and I'm just gonna cut the axis and activate the glue. So this, all of this, Tiny spider application are phenomenal for removing swelling. You can do it on your hand. You can do it like, for example, if you have like any swelling on your hand, uh, you can do like swelling of the fingers, you know, anything you can actually do. Let me, I'm gonna show you on Natalia, okay? I'm gonna use my hand model. It's not super easy to do it on your hands, but you can do it on your ankles or something. So I'm gonna measure. So lymphatic drainage is gonna go from here. So I'm gonna measure toward the fingers. Okay, because this is application is gonna go for a long time for her. We're gonna round all of the corners. Okay, so nothing above the chest, any lymphatic drainage, no more than six hours. On your body parts, because they're so thin, they're not going to stay there for a very long time. But they can stay like 24, 36 hours, depends if you wear a glove on top of it. It can stay longer, but it really does miracle. If you have large bruises, this is beautiful application to get rid of the bruises much quicker. I literally, like I take it off in 24 hours and there is no bruise under tape and it's looks weird because the rest of the part still has a tape so then i reapply tape differently to apply on the bruise part okay so again this is gonna go okay hold on okay so this is gonna go on the wrist and then I'm kind of gonna apply it without any, make a fist, make a fist. Mm -hmm. So this can stretch here. Okay, I'm gonna apply it all the way around. Okay. Cutting the excess.
Okay, and again, I'm not activating glue until I'm actually finished with application and I'm happy with everything I like. Because when I apply it, if I don't like something, if I have an activated glue, look how easy it is to take off and reapply. But once you activated glue, that's it. Okay, so when I'm happy with everything, I'm activating the glue toward the anchor. Okay, this can go around the knee, anywhere, any part of your body. And again, beautiful, beautiful application. Okay, and what you want to see when she's moving the skin, you see how it's creating those wrinkles when it's actually not a wrinkles, but the skin is lifted off. And this is this lifting of the skin of the underlying tissue, this is actually what create improved circulation and lymphatic drain. So if you do wanna move, so with all of this, so this tapes, like this tape, this tape, they're actually preventing you from forming these wrinkles, right? You see the skin is not creasing, but like all this, you actually wanna move with them, okay? Because activating, uh, skin movement and lifting of the skin from underlying tissue. This is actually what create improved circulation, improve lymphatic drainage, and <clears throat> such a good and <clears throat> collagen production and improved healing. Um, so really, really good stuff, guys. Uh, again, like with everything, when I start, when I'm using consistently. It works, you stop using it, it stops working. So like with everything. Uh, I sometimes, when I go on vacation, I always take my tapes with me because I know all of my measurements and everything. Um, like all of this now takes me no more than 10 minutes because you know I don't measure anymore. I know that here's five, here's three, here's uh, seven, here's eight. So like it takes me... I don't know, three minutes to cut, five minutes to apply all of this. I do not recommend to pre-cut if like I had, I, I did it. And then like I ruined <clears throat> a lot of the tape because the tape does not store very well. The glue actually over dries if you pre-cut it and store pre-cut. So always store your tape in a roll. And in the box, in the packing that it actually comes with in. So do not pre-cut, cut at the time you want to apply your tape. Okay, we have nine minutes left. Ask your questions. Unmute yourself and ask. I have a question. How do I unmute myself? I want everybody else to think of it. Unmute. Yeah, but that's it's going to be important. Okay, ask here. Which way are we going to remove the tape from the anchor side or from the no anchor? toward the anchor when towards the anchor? Okay. Excellent question. Okay, so tomorrow <coughs> choose your the least sensitive part. So for me, my forehead is not sensitive at all. So I always actually remove forehead without anything. But this part and this part is pretty sensitive for me. So I actually would apply baby oil in the morning or even like take my shower. I would remove forehead, no problem. And what you want to do, you want to grab the corner, okay? And then you want to hold it here and you want to rub it off like this, okay? And you want to keep removing. You see what I'm doing? I'm peeling it and I'm moving my finger and I'm, holding the skin so what you don't want to do okay you don't want to do this okay please don't do this you see what's happening with the skin mm -hmm. you stretch it okay you want to hold your finger and keep moving keep holding the skin and rolling it off so my forehead is not sensitive at all i don't apply anything i just remove it without anything this part too this is my very sensitive skin. I always apply baby oil for at least 10 minutes before I remove those. Or I go in shower and I remove it on the shower the same way. Hold it, pull it, hold it, pull it, hold it, pull it, hold it, pull it. Okay. Any other questions? Next question, please. Let me see your beautiful faces.
Okay. Lana, I like it. Natalia, I like it. Mila, I like it. I don't see anybody else. Show me the rest of your faces. How old do you do this? Okay. How often do you do this? So, uh, Tanya, it's kind of like the same as you do the sport and exercise, okay? So you can do it every day, preferably every day. But like sometimes, you know, I'm lazy, sometimes I'm busy, life happens, okay? But um, this is like, it's it's got like, I treat it as a luxury treatment, almost like an, as a spa treatment. So when I go on vacation, I always do it. I have time on vacation. Saturday, Sunday, I do it during the week, not always happening, okay? If I know I need to go somewhere, for sure I'm gonna do it and I'm not even gonna remove it up until it's time to go. The best, when I take it off, the forehead is beautiful, not a single wrinkle. Three, four hours later, they come back, okay? Again, it, 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 um, it's called Biobotics. Okay, uh, effect is more prolonged the more you use it. The more frequently you use it, the more often you do it, you're going to have more prolonged and better effect. So if you use it very occasionally, you're going to have very temporarily effect. Next mm -hmm. question. Thank you. Aksan, hi. I can't sleep on my back, so I usually sleep on my side. So will I have more wrinkles? You have to see it is recommended to sleep on the back. So I actually, I'm with you. I hate sleeping on my back. Uh, but I actually, I have orthopedic pillow and it minimizes wrinkles a lot. I can, I can show you guys my pillow, okay? Hold on, give me one second. Mm. It is. There's nothing on the bed. No, just pillow. Okay, so this is the pillow. Okay. This is where the hat goes. It looks good. Okay. And even like when you, if you turn, okay, because it has this uh, crease here, okay, it does not, like, it does not do this. Like, if you like on the flat pillow, this is what's gonna happen. And this is gonna happen, right? Like all of this goes in wrinkles. Like with this pillow, it minimizes because it's kind of like, it it shapes around your face, okay? Well, where did you get this pillow? Where did you get this pillow? On Amazon, I think. Can you send a Could you send a link? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll try to find it. I have this pillow actually like for, I don't know, three, four years already. I first bought it for myself and then my husband bought it. I like it for my neck. I bought it for my neck, but it also mm -hmm. has this effect. So, um, Katya, another thing that like sometimes when in the morning I wake up, you can actually sleep. Like you can put it under your ear, so your face, so you're not putting it like this on your face, right? You're actually like on this ear, so the face is hanging from the size of the pillow. So this is my uh, sometimes secret when I don't have my, when I, when I travel occasionally, which never now happens, I even go camping with my pillow. Okay. Please send the link if you still have. I will, yeah, I will send. I will send the link. I think Natalia already found something similar. I'm gonna send the link. This this Thank is you. not like an expensive one. It's like one of the cheaper one, but it works great. Um, but it does. So this is actually an excellent point. Thank you for bringing it up. If you can sleep on your back, that significantly minimizes wrinkles in your face. I know it's complicated, but try. I do meditate before going to sleep. This is the only way, like I cannot by myself fall asleep on my back. <laughs> Honest truth, okay? Very kind of like, I love sleeping on my side. This is creates all of my this wrinkles because I sleep like this. Look what's happening with the chest, okay? Then in the morning I wake up, I don't like it. 
but when I sleep with the tape, no wrinkles. Great, thank you. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful weekend, okay. Uh, I do want you guys in a week to retake your picture and retake all of your measurements and I'm going to send you like um, instructions on the follow up and then we're going to have um, like a wrap up communication in our group chat. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you.